All right, so we're picking up here on part three. The slab's been poured. It's been cured for several days now. And um, this is, again, back in July of 2017 or so. But anyway, went to Home Depot, rented one of these uh, concrete surface prep machines and uh, got the 24 grit diamond uh, pad that goes on it. They've got several different pads you can get. But um, this one's meant to prep the surface for any kind of sealer or epoxy or, you know, or that kind of thing. So um, I think it's about uh, $50 or $60 a day for the pad and about $20 a day for the machine. Uh, I didn't need it near that long. You know, it only took a little bit of time here to get that going. But as you can see, I got it unloaded and got jumped on it on the back. Um, and this machine, you know, it, it, I don't use one of these very often. And it uh, always takes a little bit of uh, kind of getting used to the feel of, you know, how to get it to operate without running away from you. And kind of once you get the feel of it, you can pretty much make it go where you want. But if you don't know what you're doing, well, it's just going to spin out of control and, you know, do its thing. But you can see here it's working up a lot of dust and you can see it's pretty windy that day. Now, this is a, a time lapse video and that's why it's kind of jerky, you know, looking. So, um... The real time I was out there was probably about maybe 45 minutes or so. And you'll keep seeing these pauses. I, I was having a problem with it popping a breaker. And um, I had it actually connected to an outlet that was outside. But then I had a really long cord on it. So probably the length of the small cord was likely the issue. But it would only run for about 5 or 10 minutes. And I'd have to go reset the breaker again, come back in come back out and do it some more. So that was kind of a pain, but anyway, um, the purpose of, of this and doing it now was it's just a lot easier to get to without the building, you know, the, the structure being there and, um, you know, and to, to get the dust cleared out and get access to everywhere without running up against the corners of the, you know, the framing and, and all that. So, Anyway, apologize for all the breaks. You could see uh, how this was going. And this was really the only thing I've ever had with the electrical in the shop that where I was popping a breaker on something. I had the bandsaw one time uh, get locked up and it popped a breaker, bound up and, and you know, on something. But anyway, you can see all the dust that's being created. And that was really the goal here to get all that, you know, as much of that up. Because you don't want to be uh, painting on that. So... Um, anyway, so, you know, and to get it all cleaned off and then get it sealed in with a, uh, sealer. All right, so here you can see we're out here, uh, in the uh, paint booth and, um, uh, you can kind of still see some little striations going this way of the, of the horsehair broom finish, but for the most part, um, uh, it exposed, you know, the aggregate when I went over it with the uh, machine. Uh, some areas it exposed it a lot more. You can see a lot there. So it's pretty much ready. Um, I did not want to uh, put the top coat on until the it's it's completely closed in because as you can see, there's leaves and everything still blowing in here. So I'd just make a mess. But the main thing um, is uh, this is what we used in the in the shop and if you guys see in the videos what the floor looks like in there most of the time it looks pretty nice and it's really held up well uh, with you know steel being drug across it and things dropping on it it's it's not really showing the wear you know and um, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it and the biggest thing out here is as you guys know concrete new concrete you get dust continually coming up and so I wanted to get that all off as much as I could and do it without the walls up so that, uh, you know, I could uh, um, get better access to everything, you know, and come out here with a leaf blower and, and blow it all off once I got the dust up, sweep it off, blow it off. And so once we get the walls up, the we'll come back one of the first things we'll do is put this sealer down and it's a two-part urethane sealer um, I'll have a link in the description to the original 
shop video where I did this in the shop and it uh, you know I went into detail and showed all the the details of it so if you want to see that and you weren't following along back then it's a good video um, I highly recommend the product now it's been down for a year and it has held up well I'm pleased with it it's directcolors.com and um, it, it's a good product it's a two-part urethane based it mixes three to one I believe so anyway all right guys if you're watching this video on YouTube why don't you head on over to Fab Nation uh, I am uploading all these videos there's gonna be several parts to this build maybe as many as 10 videos and I'm uploading them all first to Fab Nation and they're on Fab Nation for at least a couple of weeks before they make it to YouTube so if you want to if you're watching this on YouTube likely there's been a lot more videos uploaded and available on Fab Nation so if you want to head over to Fab Nation and check out the very latest ones you can do that or you can wait for them to come to YouTube but um so that's it on this build and if you're watching this on Fab Nation hey leave a comment in the thread below if you have any thoughts or or questions or comments about the uh the slab prep and the urethane sealer that we're going to put down in a future video so hope you enjoyed this one guys i'll see you on the next one